All right, so you're out there on maintenance, you stick that probe into that flue pipe, and you get a high carbon monoxide rating. What do you do? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Chris Morin with HVAC Pro Blog, back this week to talk about high carbon monoxide readings when you're working on fossil fuel appliances. I remember working when I was 16. It was a lot easier back in those days. When I'd walk in with an old timer doing maintenance, he'd kick the return duct, say, yep, still here. Then again, he also took a look at the flames and adjusted gas pressure based on what it looked like. Things were a lot easier back then, and he thought he was doing the right thing, but now we have the tools to measure. So when you get a high carbon monoxide reading, what do you do? These days, high carbon monoxide readings in the flue pipe and 68% steady state efficiencies actually mean something because fuel costs are so high, it's hitting the homeowner's wallet. I heard of a situation a while back where a homeowner had their boiler shut down after having the gas company out to do some maintenance. He said the carbon monoxide reading was too high and the boiler had to be replaced. Now, most building analysts already know that a carbon monoxide reading between 26 and 100 parts per million means that repair is required, not system replacement. You can get this guidance at bpi.org for free. And just to cover you guys in HVAC, it tells them to contact a heating professional. Those guys aren't fixing it themselves. So why did the technician shut down the boiler? What I worry about is it may have been a sales tactic. When you get a high carbon monoxide reading in the flue pipe, all that means is you have incomplete combustion. Remember, for combustion, you need air, fuel, and spark. Pretty simple. So if you have lack of combustion air, too much or too little gas, or obviously no spark, you're gonna have incomplete combustion. I have seen high carbon monoxide readings because of failing draft inducers which may or may not have caused the secondary heat exchanger to clog. On 80% burners, incorrectly adjusted draft dampers. You get the idea. But none of those reasons mean the boiler should be replaced. This was quite some time ago, and when I went out to diagnose the system, I found the manifold gas pressure twice what it should be. What this means is there's less than half of the combustion air needed in order to burn off that gas. Obviously, raising the carbon monoxide parts per million in the flue pipe. Now, I'm not gonna say the previous tech didn't take the measurement, but I'm willing to bet he adjusted the flame, like the old timers, just by looking at it, which you cannot do with a 90% plus furnace or boiler. If you don't have an electronic manometer or a combustion analyzer, you can at least clock the gas meter and know how much gas is being burned. Obviously, when you do this, make sure you shut off pilots for other appliances. Remember, you're the professional and the homeowner's paying you for the expertise. Don't do it by eyesight. Use the meters that are available to you. And by all means, don't replace a boiler that you maybe just installed a couple years ago because of high CO content in the flu. Thanks again for joining me at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. See you next week.